If you're a realtor or an investor and you're running Facebook ads for each one of your listings or open houses, you're going to want to stay on this video. I'm going to share how to create a dynamic ad campaign in Facebook from A to Z. In an earlier video on the channel, I showed how to use Catalog Manager to use a spreadsheet and load those listings that I have into the database of Facebook. What we're going to do in this video is I'm going to le leverage that data. We're going to set up what's called data sets and then actually create the ad for you. Hello, I am Smarty from the ProEdge Marketing Channel. If you like this video and the content, make sure you give me a thumbs up or like so that we can share this to other realtors and investors across the world. And I encourage you to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a video that I upload. On this channel, I focus on helping realtors, investors, and entrepreneurs take advantage of technology and strategies to save time, grow your business, generate more leads, and help you make this the best decade ever. So let's dive in. Okay, now let's get into creating the dynamic ad inside of Facebook. Before we do that, we're gonna jump over and to the sets and organize these 37 listings that we have so that we can start doing ad campaigns to different audiences based on the type of homes that we're representing as an investor or a realtor. If you head over to sets here, uh, in the earlier video, I showed how to use a spreadsheet and the data sources here to load all of my listings into the catalog manager. And currently I have 37 homes that are listed, ready to be advertised. It doesn't make sense to do a single ad to have all 37 homes in one ad. If you think of it from the user experience of the person seeing your ad, they have to scroll through 37 different homes. What would be more advantageous if to organize these homes by category or type or price so that when we run ads, we can target different audiences and they're only shopping within their category. What we're going to do here is we're going to up in the right, we're going to hit create set. What I'll do here is I'm going to say homes um, under 400,000. Maybe I want to do a, a, a first time home buyers uh, campaign. Uh, over here, I can, uh, uh, these uh, in the drop down, I'm going to define the, the filter. Um, these are all those columns that are in the spreadsheet that we used in the earlier video to load into uh, Catalog Manager. So I'm going to use the price column. What I'm going to do in the drop down is I'm going to pick less than or equal to. And I'm going to put in the amount that I want to create in this set. So I'll create 400,000 homes. If I put a five in there, um, you'll see there's 19 homes under five. Uh, if I do a two, uh, there's no homes under 200,000. If I do three, there's none under three. So I know my data. So I'm doing 400,000 is where I'm starting this ad set. So you can chunk this up any way your listings are set up or your deals uh, by number of beds, by area, uh, where it is, the neighborhood it's in, and then run different ad campaigns. I'm going to hit create. And now you'll see I have my, all my listings 37, but now I have a set specifically for homes under $400,000. Now we're ready to do an ad. So if you come over here to the overview right here, uh, right here is where you start your dynamic ad creation. And it's going to uh, basically open it up in ads manager, but there's a couple new fields that you're going to be filling out for a dynamic ad than a standard ad you may have been doing if you're doing single home listings. So in this case, when I click on this, on the dynamic ad, I'll just move up the over on this side so it's easier to, to see the screen. Um, we have uh, the listings are added. So I already, step one is to load your listings into Facebook Catalog Manager. Step two is to set up tracking. So uh, this is what we call Facebook Pixels. So I already have a pixel on my website, uh, which is a Facebook pixel to track for retargeting. Um, I'm, I'm going to use this pixel in my tracking. Uh, if you don't have a pixel or know what a pixel is, I will have a video on this channel shortly where I'll show you exactly how to set up a pixel on your website. And you're going to want to do that to do all of your retargeting activities. We are now ready to create an ad. So we go to step three and click create ad. It's going to ask you for your ad account because this is now going to open up an ad manager, uh, the ad account. I have my ProEdge uh, ad account. And then I hit next. 
Now from here, uh, this is going to have the same hierarchy structure of all the ads that you may have been running as a realtor or investor. Uh, if you've been using ad manager, you know that the hierarchy is we have campaigns defined basically the objective. And we could also, uh, we have the special ad category that we talk about as realtors. Um, then we have ad sets and then we have ads themselves. So what, what right now we're going to uh, start out at the campaign level. So we'll call this a uh, first time um, homeowners campaign. And it's critically important that you uh, uh, select this special ad category and pick housing or else Facebook will uh, reject your ad. Now down here, it's going to ask me to select what catalog do I want to use for this listing. So we're going to, that's the, the main catalog here. So you may have multiple catalogs uh, in catalog manager. So I just have the pro Edge listings catalog. Down here, uh, I'm now going to define the uh, ad set itself. So we'll call this a buyer's uh, ad set. And I may want to go out and do like a 40 mile radius. Uh, 40 plus uh, miles, and I may want to do uh, first time homeowners, uh, uh, first time homeowners um, as my filter. When you'll see when I, when I create the set, how I'm going to do that. Now, down here in the ad set, there's a drop down arrow. It defaults to all your listings in that ad set, in that data set. So I have 37 listings there. Uh, but here's where those other ad sets come in. So I'm going to pick the under 400 set is what I'm gonna use in this ad set to display all those homes. And as you saw, uh, this and it shows it right here that we have 11 homes that are gonna be shown in this one ad. I then go down and give it a name of the ad. So we'll call it uh, homes under 400K ad number one, because I may do split tests with different ads, ad copy. Um, and then I hit create draft. Now at this point, it's gonna now jump right over to the ad manager and it'll look exactly like it normally does when you're doing ads. Now there is a couple other uh, uh, fields, like I mentioned, that we'll, uh, we'll be uh, integrating to. So uh, right now um, uh, on the left hand side, we have our tree, it's first time uh, campaign. Um, we have an ad set defined and we have the ad. It's pointing to the set that I've created in, in catalog manager for homes under 400,000. Uh, I'm going to set my daily budget. So we'll, in this case, I normally do 100 a day. Uh, now we'll do $10 a day. Um, I'll set up the, uh, the budget that I'm going to use. Down here, um, I can keep going down. You can, you can do other things like, uh, you know, limit uh, only to events within a certain ad set. So look at pixel data. You can do saved audiences. There's a number of things you can do in audiences. I'm just going to say uh, I'm going to do a geographic, show everybody in a geography with some attributes, uh, this ad. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing here for you. Uh, what I'm going to do here, uh, if you have custom audiences, I have lots of custom audiences in the Pro Edge team. Uh, we have anybody looking at our website and our Facebook page. We have custom audiences that we've created. I can pick those audiences. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a geographic audience. So I'm going to always pick people living in this location. By default, it says people living or recently in the location, which could be good if you're a restaurant, for example, and you want, you know, the truck drivers that are driving through on a route uh, in that wherever your ad's running to see that ad to come to your restaurant. But uh, if I'm a, a realtor, typically I like to do people living in the location because they're either going to be moving, maybe they're renting in this area and they're looking to buy their first house or if it's a baby boomer campaign, they live in the area, they want to downsize. So you make sure you uh, pay attention to this uh, drop down here. We're then also going to go in and identify the location data. So I live in North Wales. So um, I will go in the search here and start typing in a, a town. So I'm in North Wales, Pennsylvania. And then within Facebook, with the new rules that we have as realtors and investors, we can't go any lower than 15 miles, but we can, and we can go as far as 50 miles in this ad set. So maybe I want to show this to everybody within a 20 mile radius, uh, or maybe I'll say 30 miles. So we'll get a little bigger window. So all my listings, um, I'm going to be showing this ad to everybody in this circle. Uh, you can't do zip code anymore. They're just warning me here. And as, as realtors and investors, we can't do ads and discriminate age and gender. So I leave those alone. What I do do though, is I go to detailed targeting 
and I'm going to do my typical targeting. So I may do, if this is a first time home buyer, um, I could start um, typing it in and there's a first time home buyer campaign. And what Facebook has done is based on that circle, there's about 330,000 people that will see my ad. Uh, based on my $10 a day, it's going to show uh, about 1,000 to 2,900 people my ad. And I can expect about two, uh, six to 23 uh, lick, uh, uh, clicks um, uh, from the ad of people uh, interested. As I go down here, I always like to promote uh, and, and decide where I'm going to place my ad or, you know, Facebook will recommend if you let them recommend that it'll, they're going to put their, your ad everywhere that they're, they're at. So Instagram and marketplace and so forth. You can get a little bit more specific. Uh, maybe I only want it on the Facebook and maybe down here I only want it in the Facebook uh, news feed. So uh, if I want to run this ad just to stories in the feed, I can set that up here. There is some more options. Uh, one thing I like to do is I like when people are shopping, I like, I like them to be on Wi-Fi because that's when they're going to interact to a squeeze page or a chat bot or whatever. So I always set uh, uh, connected to Wi-Fi. Down here, uh, I'm going to hit next and uh, leave the rest alone. Now I'm on the ad copy itself. Um, now, because this is a dynamic ad, I don't have to pull in my pictures. Um, it's going to, based on the placement um, of all the different sites, the Facebook news feeds and stuff, um, the ad is already um, showing up here. So as I go down through here, um, I can do a single image or I can do a carousel. Now, in the other video where I showed the spreadsheet of loading your listings into the catalog manager to begin with, I mentioned that uh, you could have a number of pictures for every row or every listing or home that you have. So uh, in my database, I only had the one uh, column that had the picture uh, that you're seeing here in the ad here, uh, right here, these pictures. Um, but I could have, I think, up to four or five pictures, and that's what a carousel is. So you could say, make this a carousel ad, and then um, it'll say, um, it, it, it'll allow you to navigate through your different properties. Then we go into the ad copy. So um, I don't have to load photographs in a dynamic work way. I'm just simply going to uh, uh, bring in the uh, text that I want is my primary text, the headline, and the um, call to action. And I'm going to talk about the call to action in a minute. So let me go ahead and put some text in. Okay, so I have all my primary text that I want to use in this ad campaign. If you look on the right-hand side, you'll see what it looks like over here. We have a picture of the house. Above each picture, I have new listings in Bucks County, uh, Bucks and Montgomery County. See these before any, anyone else. And there's a see more. So when they see see more, I'm going to have that's all this data is going to pop up. You know, click learn more uh, button below, and I'll instantly message you all the listings with pictures, pricing, details, and more. Uh, don't miss these properties before they go into contract or somebody else uh, ends up living in your dream home. So be creative in your copy here. Um, the primary text is above the photograph in the ad. Then we have the call to action, which is right below the button or below the picture underneath here. That's your call to action. So I said, you know, uh, see these listings before anyone else. And then um, at the very bottom, and I'll go back up to the newsfeed itself. Uh, you can also control the call to action button. So you could say shop now, or in this case, because my copy said learn more, um, I'm going to pick the learn more button here. So now I have my ad, I have the call to action and the uh, learn more button. Now I wanted to show you a few other things here. So when you're looking at the house, because this is a, 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 a dynamic ad, um, you can control uh, what's underneath each of the, um, the, 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 the what, what's underneath the, each picture here. So let's say that, you know, a typical ad, you have a single headline and that headline is see these listings before anyone else. That's not going to fly in a dynamic listing. So what we're going to do here instead, we're going to actually take data from our spreadsheet and put it in the headline of each picture, uh, each uh, picture here. So uh, if I hit the plus sign, these are all the um, fields that are in that spreadsheet that we loaded into the system. So in this case, I could take number of beds. I can take the name of the property, um, you know, which would be the address, the, the listing name. 
So now you see uh, the, the, the town and all how I set this up. Underneath that I can do, if I don't want the description, uh, that, that comes by default. Maybe I want to put in number of beds. So I'll put in the word beds. I'm going to hit the plus sign. And down here I'm going to pick number of beds. So now underneath the, the, the system I will have um, the number of beds shown. And maybe I also want price. So uh, when they're navigating through the ads, I'm gonna put the price of the home in that uh, description field as well. So uh, as I go down through here, it depends on the, the news feed I'm looking at, uh, whether or not it, it displays right now on a phone, it may not display, but if I go over to a desktop or marketplace, you'll see what it looks like. So for each house, I have the copy up top. I have the description of the house or where it's located number of beds and number and the, and the price of the home. And then the learn more button. So this is the construct of the ad. Down here, you have your website URL. Uh, what I do as a chat botter is I always have them go into my chat bot right on Messenger and get all the details. Uh, you could have a squeeze page in your CRM. As an EXP, I use KB Core, so I could squeeze page this up to a website they go see uh, and so forth. Uh, and that's it. Um, so that is all of your setup of an ad in dynamic ads. Uh, I'd hit publish here. So before I publish, because I have some other things I'm going to do, I'm going to just exit. I have it in here. So I have my ad set or my campaign. It's a dynamic ad. I have my set and then I have my ad. And if I just do a preview here, you can kind of see what it looks like. Each house that's in this ad set um, will show up in this dynamic ad. So uh, there's uh, one, there's the two, you know, different locations uh, and so forth. And I can go through the ad set and um, look at each house, sample products. If I go through, there's one house, there's another house, there's another house, right? So uh, single ad, multiple houses, all dynamically being generated from the data you loaded from the spreadsheet into Facebook catalog manager and now this particular ad is going to be optimized to showcase your properties to everybody in that circle and with the dynamics of the ad we could take houses out of the circle and put them back in as they're coming on and off the market so a great way as a realtor investor to promote multiple listings at once and make sure that you set this up right once and once you set it up you could forget about it and run this ad ongoing. So throughout the year, your, your listings are coming on and off. Uh, this ad is now being showcased to people all over the region. I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, if you like this, make sure you hit subscribe and hit the bell because I'm going to have more advanced training on here on how to connect this ad set to the MLS or a shared Google Drive where most people are updating it on the back end and your ads are being updated. So you don't want to miss those videos. Hope you enjoyed this.